we need to prove this sine 20 sine 40 sine 80 is equals to the square root of 3 over 8 so for the left hand side we copy down first then we rearrange the sine 40 and 20 put the sine 40 in front so we can do the calculation later easier so the sine 40 and sine 20 you can do refer to this one sine 40 sine 20 according to the the, the formula we will get 1 over 2 and cos 20 minus sine 60 so after that we put it here then we get the cos 20 minus cos 60 then after that we times the sine 80 into the bracket we will get this one then we rearrange it sine 80 to cos uh, sine 80 cos 20 and then this one then after that we do the formula again formula again so we get sine 100 and sine 60 so after the sine 100 and sine 60 we know that sine 100 equals to the sine 80 then this one copy back the 1 over 2 here we put it in front so the front one will change to 1 over 4 after that we re, uh, open the bracket for this one then we get this one sine 80 sine 60 negative sine 40 and negative sine 20 then we rearrange again then we do until like this one we get a sine 80 minus sine 40 so this one we need a new formula sine 80 minus sine 40 the formula is this one sine c minus sine d so after that we do the rearrangement we will get 2 sine 20 cos 60 so here we get the 2 sine 20 cos 60 then open the uh, put in the value and then this one cancel each other no more already this one the 2 and 1 over 2 like cancel each other so finally we can prove it thank you this is the first one then we got the other two this is the second method to prove it so the left hand side we still copy as usual then we bracket this one then we put the 1 over 2 and 2 inside the value still the same nothing changed then we move the 1 over 2 in front we put the 2 together with this one sine 80 and sine 40 after that from the 2 sine 80 sine 40 we can do the formula <coughs> 2 sin 80 sin 40 so equals to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b so after that we'll get all of this thing together then we get cos 60 and cos 40 so we get this one 2 sin 80 sin 40 then we'll get cos 60 and cos 40 cos 60 is 1 over 2 cos 40 cop copy back after that we times this one into here so we will get this one 1 over 2 become 1 over 4 sin sin 20 then so on okay then we get this one cos 40 and sin 20 here see after that we can open this one again expand it so we get sin 60 minus sin 20 how like this one cos a sin b right cos a sin b equals to 1 over 2 sin a plus b minus sin a minus b so cos 40 sin 20 we will get 1 over 2 sin 60 minus sin 20 1 over 2 sin 60 minus sin 20 then put in the value sin 60 is like root 3 over 2 this one put in then open the bracket okay this and this will cancel each other we only left at 1 over 4 and root 3 over 2 so open the bracket proof thank you there's still one more okay this is a third method to prove it okay left hand side we still copy everything now 40 is actually 60 minus 20 80 is 60 plus 20 so we open the bracket for this one sine a minus b this one sine a minus b we will get like 60 or this one is formula so we just get this one sine 60 cos 20 minus cos 60 sin 20 then we'll get this one and this one so as the same also will be the same okay will be the same so we get this one so this one very long but actually we can simplify them to this this one very long very long right so actually it's a minus b a plus b same as 
a square minus b square so let's say the red the black one is a the red one is b so we get a square minus b square then we can write it down here the next one we put the uh, value sine 60 equals to root 3 over 2 right so sine square 60 equals to root 3 over 2 square this one copy back this one cos 60 equals to 1 over 2 so put the square here then copy back then after that open the bracket we get 3 over 4 and 1 over 4 after the next step next step we like times the sine 20 inside here so we get this one and this one this will be sine power of 3 20 degree after this we change the cos square 20 to 1 minus sine square 20 the next one we can times the 3 over 4 sine 20 inside then we will get to this one okay from here we can take the 1 over 4 out so we can get 3 sine 20 minus 4 sine cube 20 this one is another formula also so this is another formula we need to know this formula so sine 3a equals to 3 sine a minus 4 sine cube a when the a is 20 we can put the 20 here right 20 and 20 so this will be 3 times 20 which is sine 60 which is root 3 over 2 so <coughs> you can see here after this one it will be size sine 3 times 20 then 60 and then last one proof okay i know three method only for this one maybe you got the fourth one i'm not sure so share to your friend your best friend so both of you can improve thank you